That was yep. it. I was like trying to think of it. <laughs> I don't know what NTBD stands for. I'll figure that out someday. You ask him. I want to think it's not to be denied. <laughs> we'll see. That's actually pretty good. Yeah. I, I like if anything, that would probably be it. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, okay. Vash could have actually gone for down B and got a potential shield break from how much mm -hmm. how uh, small a shield was getting. I like what he's doing. He's setting up down air to get like the soft spike so that they uh, they can't really tech it. Right. They're stuck in place and then jab grab. But I don't know if NTBD is missing the input or Vash is just knows how to get out of it. Yeah, he's using a lot. He's utilizing that uh, the blade dance or whatever you call dance it. Blade, yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's a great it's a great move because you do it out of a run. Can he get the bounce? He does. Okay. I, you know what? I've seen NTBD recover from worse situations and end up taking people's stocks from it, whether it be false or vexed. Like I just. I just kind of let him handle it now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, ordinarily, I'd get nervous, but he'll, he'll Vash is known for, like, uh, countering uh, Ness and Lucas's, like, uh, PK rocket. Yeah. PK That's actually missile. less deadly on Lucas because it's a multi-hit and they do less uh, damage right. each. Whereas Ness, it'll just kill him dead. But. Yeah. Also, I really like what NCBD is doing with uh, jabbing a lot when he's up close. I feel like... Uh, in some uh, previous tournaments, yep, like not recently, but like Ooh, that was pretty good. He was, he, I, I don't know, I don't want to say he was like hesitant, but like he was fighting, he was fighting tension. That was the good MDBA, B, tilt yeah, tipper. great, great uh, tipper forward tilt. But uh, when he was fighting tem tension, when the MDBA guys came over, uh -huh. um, and Logic was forward commentating throws. with me, he, he also commented a great forward throw there. I wish I could tell a story without <laughs> having a kill go on. But uh, you know, he was mentioning Lucas has great boxing tools. You know, some fast Here, let's up see close if can get it. And he gets TBD's it. Here we go. Wild ride. <laughs> Right. Bit of a shorter version. Of that. Ooh, okay. That was just unfortunate because Vash just kind of went that way. But ordinarily, that's a really safe setup. Oh, it was hit again off of the uh, what do you call that conversion? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. NTBD does not try to hit people with the up TB. I almost called it the up TB the up B <laughs> um, with the up B rocket move. He just tries to get people with the thunder move and then send himself farther back. It's a good safe option there. But yeah. Vash was in a a position that he was sent further into the stage into him, so didn't work out quite as well. But usually it works well. And I've said it before, if you get caught in, uh, ooh, great. That bounce he's been, again. He, yeah, he's been responding to that with up tilt. That's a fast move, Luke, it says. Mm -hmm. But yeah, when you're getting hit by the thunder, you just, you need to only DI it. Don't worry about it, because you're not going to jump out of it. You'll just burn your jump. And he just goes with that. He goes for the nowhere. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> These names. Yeah. <laughs> the boy from nowhere with the nowhere. It seemed like NTBD was just basically rushing in on Vash. It was just like he was being a lot more aggressive than I'm used to seeing him. And it actually paid out this time. Yeah, yeah. Like, Vash is usually... Because uh, NTBD usually, he plays neutral almost too well in the sense that he uses a lot of Zare and PK Fire. And while that's very good for, you know, neutral spacing, it's really hard to get in with that. And what Nukas needs is to get in with a grab. Yep. He was doing a lot better with that. And he, he's doing that by utilizing jab and up tilt and, you know, his fast tilts that he can use up close. Yeah, and, like, Va Vash really, really is probably isn't expecting it because getting up close to Marth is pretty much almost certain death. Yeah, but it's not impossible because, well, yeah. you know, characters that have disjoints, um, they don't have as good frame data as normal characters do, but they compensate by having greater range on a disjoint that, you know, they can't, like, trade with. Right. So if and if you pick your spot with fast moves, it's you know it's just a matter of weaving in between the hits. Mm -hmm. It's obviously easier said than done, but you can do that. Yeah, he's playing a lot more. He's also using his shield a lot better and just getting grabs out of that. Going deep, very good option. Try to go for two frame. He uses jump. No, he didn't use jump. Doesn't matter. He's playing tether. Yeah. All right, forward throw. And uh, Dream Lamb's got pretty wide edges, more than you would expect, but. You know. Oh, yep. very nice roll. Did not go for the wave bounce variant that yep. he usually likes to go for. Gets him trapped, and he might be out too far. Yeah, oh, he is. Yeah. He gimped him with the thunder. Really very nice done nice. by DTBD. He's not to be denied. <laughs> Tipper F tilt. Not quite going to do it yet. So long. Ooh. That was actually really... That was a good air yeah. oh, Ooh. Oh, <laughs> Tipper shield breaker. Oof, that just looked painful. Yeah, that was Because the sword's like right on his head level. It's yeah. like, ow, I just got a sword <laughs> in my nose. Pop one of those beady eyes that he has. Oh, those dark and soulless <laughs> eyes. <laughs> hey, those eyes have seen some stuff. Oh, well, they have. <laughs> and he's not going to get the footstool combo uh, most of the time on this, uh, this stage. No, it's a lot harder. Dreamland is the hardest stage to do it. You, right. I, mean, I think people have caught on to it. You counterpick NTBD to Dreamland. Right. It's the hardest place for him to do footstool stuff. That and Wispy could blow them a little too far away in order to do that too. I don't even think that's as big a deal. I well, think yeah, it's, yeah. it's more that Wispy blows um, blows I mean, the body on the ground. It makes the footstool combo harder yeah. to do. Yeah. He, Edge guarding, I don't think it comes as into play. Lucas' recovery is really good. Mm. 
Crash trying to collect himself right now, trying to find a good way to approach him. All right. Because he doesn't want to get out of this turn here. Well, none of them do. <laughs> no, no, nobody does, but I'm just saying. Sliding. PK Thunder mix up. Yep. Ooh. See, he's really good about just hitting yeah. him a bit and then going back to stay safe. I think because of the fact that Ooh, he threw what? with that forward area, it just stalled him long enough. I don't enough know how he did that. He, like, moved... <laughs> he like leaped in and out with the Zare. I don't know if that works just like a I need to lab something. <laughs> Back air, okay, gets the punish off that tether grab miss. Alright, I like the stall. Back throw, not gonna do it yet. It wasn't gonna do it, the big uh, big side blast on some Dreamland really right. like that. Now should uh, Vash be thinking about up throw now? Uh not now. Okay. He should wait until probably like one forty with the amount of rage he has. <laughs> Oh, wow, I like, he went for the I like, air, I like yeah. the idea, but he lost stage control going for it. Right. He should have gone for a more sure thing, or prepared for a ledge option. And up up throw. throw, yep. Wow, the, the, the amount of range will do it. I mean, Lucas has effectively three kill throws. His throws are just great in general. Yeah, we saw... His grab, that's the issue. We saw forward throw off the platform a little bit, but still... Yeah. It was forward throw and backward, depending closer. on positioning, and up throw kills eventually. Right. And Lucas grabs you, man. It's scary. Yep.